Hello, welcome back to setting up the journal with OJS 3.0. This is module three, the reader interface. In this video, I will take you on a brief tour of what your OJS publication will look like from your reader's perspective. We'll start on the landing page and then move through all the different sections so that you can see what kind of information is stored where, what your readers will be able to access, and how they'll access that information. Let's dive in. The URL of your journal leads to the splash page. As you can see, there is a top-level horizontal navigation bar that contains the most important content access points, and a sidebar of more specialized information. The main body of the page populates dynamically with journal issues as they are published. You can also create permanent content, such as this welcome message. The current tab will bring you to the most recently published volume of your journal. As you can see, this page displays the volume and issue information of the publication, the cover image if one exists, and access to the content of the issue. The content of this example issue is split into two sections, articles and reviews. From this table of contents, we can also see titles, authors, and different formats in which the content can be accessed. Clicking on the title of an article brings you to the detail page where you'll see the article's abstract and citation information. By clicking on the format of your choice, you can also read the article. Here's an example of the PDF reader. This article is also available in XML and in HTML. The Archives tab provides access to all previously published volumes of the journal and a brief description of each one. Clicking through on the issue will bring you to that table of contents, which outlines the contents of the issue and provides access to that content. The About tab, when clicked on, brings the reader to a broad About the Journal page. The content of this page is entirely publisher-created, and it can contain as much or as little information as you'd like. Hovering over the About tab opens a drop-down menu listing other items that may be of interest, including the editorial team, submissions, and contact. The editorial team tab contains as much or as little information as you decide and is a space in which you can introduce the members of your editorial team. The submissions page gives general guidelines about making submissions to the journal and is a portal that can be used to make submissions. Contact information contains the address of the journal, information for the principal contact of the editorial staff, and contact information for the journal web instance support person. Finally, there is a search bar, which can be used to run keyword searches for content on your website. Clicking on your journal title, will bring you back to the splash page. The content in the side navigation menu is something that you will determine for your journal, and we'll look at that more in module eight. This example contains the information block, which is a series of short information pages tailored to the interests of specific user groups, as well as information about PKP hosting and a link to more information about OJS. Nearly everything we've seen on the website today is customizable, and I'll walk you through that process in the subsequent modules. This concludes our introductory tour of what readers encounter when navigating around an OJS publication website. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next module.